ba? O seri sa sino ka ba? Mayroon bang pinoy na kasinggalin mo? Sino ka ba? O seri sa sino ka ba? Mayroon bang pinoy na Kaya naman, ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo ay mahalaga sa amin to improve our programs on air and online. Para alam ni teacher yung strengths as well as the things in your mind na mas makatutulong sa mas effective na pagkatuto sa Teleradio. Please take time to send your feedbacks via Teleradio Mu, which you can access by scanning the QR code on the right or typing the URL provided here bit.ly slash 3 O-R-V-A-Y 9 One more, this time you follow. bit.ly slash 3 O-R-V-A-Y 9 Kaya send your hashtag TBH o hashtag RT dito sa Teleradio Mew kung saan ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo, ay mahalaga sa Teleradio. Makinig, manood na sa Teleradio. Makinig, manood, nasa Teleradio Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa dagakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo Kahit magkalayo Sa programang ito, tiyak ang pagkatuto. Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo, Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo, Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo. Good afternoon, Del Pilarians. Welcome to our live coverage of Teleradio Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat maluleng. Today is another episode of Exploring the Wonders of Science. I'm on Janie B. Santiago, your science teacher for this afternoon. Just follow and like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do not forget to comment your name, grade, and section. It will serve as your attendance in your science class. Before we proceed to the discussion of our lesson for today, let us have first a review on what we discussed in our previous lesson. How is global warming related to climate change? Comment your answers now. Very good. Global warming is the increase in the surface temperature of the Earth. While climate change includes global warming and the side effects of global warming. May I ask your zodiac sign? I am pleased if you comment on it in our chat box. Mm 
That's good to see. Some of you are Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Virgo, and many more. Do you know that your zodiac sign is a group of stars? For today, we will be talking about constellations. But first, let us have the most essential learning competencies. The most essential learning competency is to participate in activities that show which constellations may be observed at different times of the year using models. And here are the objectives. At the end of the session, you should be able to infer some characteristics of stars based on the characteristics of the sun. Infer that the arrangement of stars in a group or constellation does not change for a very long period of time. Observe how the position of a constellation changes in the course of a night. And use charts that show which constellations may be observed at different times of the year. What do you see on the pictures? Write your answers on the comment section of our FB page. You are correct. Those are stars. Are the stars same in size? Are the stars same in color? Are the stars equally bright? Let's find out. So what are stars? Stars are gigantic glowing ball of gases. There are countless stars in the entire universe, about 400 billion stars in our galaxy. There are about 170 billion galaxies in the universe. We can see only about 3,000 stars on the average. Stars differ in many ways. We see stars of different sizes, brightness, and color. Which star is the biggest? Sirius, Rigel, or Betelgeuse? Can you really tell the size of the star by just looking at it? The picture shows the size of the sun. compared to some other stars that we see at night. As we can see, the sun is so small compared to other nearby stars. It is just a medium-sized star among the hundreds of billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Some stars are 100 times bigger in diameter than our sun. Betelgeuse, a red giant. It is about 700 times bigger than our sun and about 14,000 times brighter. Also Sirius, which appears bigger than Rigel, is actually very small compared to Rigel. It appears larger only because it is closer to us. What does the color of a star mean? Why do stars differ in brightness? Let's answer the activity to find out. Study the table of data on the screen. Then answer the questions that follow. So we have here a table with three columns. The first column is about the star, the name of the star. The second column is about the color. And the third column is about the temperature in degrees Celsius. So for example, we have the sun star, the color is yellow, and the temperature is 5,700 degrees Celsius. The other one is Proxima Centauri, which is color red, and this is 2,300 degrees Celsius. So which star is the happiest? Comment your answers now. Very good. The answer is 
al nilam next which star is the coolest comment your answers now yes the answer is proxima centauri Which color of a star is the happiest? Comment your answers now. Very good. The answer is blue. And the last question. Which color of a star is the coolest? Do not hesitate to write your answers. Yes, the answer is red. What seems to be the relation between the color of a star and its temperature? Star color ranges from red to blue. The color of the star indicates its surface temperature. The hottest stars give off a blue or bluish light, while the coolest stars give off a red or reddish light. As a star ages, its temperature decreases. When you look at the sky, what do you see? Do you see images of animals or objects from the group of stars that you see? What is a constellation? Observers in ancient times also imagined group of stars that form pictures of animals, objects, and people. This imaginary group of stars are called constellations. How many constellations are there? The sky was divided up into 88 different constellations in 1922. This included 48 ancient constellations listed by the Greek astronomer Ptolemy, as well as 40 new constellations. The 88 different constellations divide up the entire night sky, as seen from all around the Earth. Star maps are made of the brightest stars and the patterns that they make, which give rise to the names of the constellations. The maps of the stars represent the position of the stars as we see, as we see them from Earth. Here are a few of the more famous constellations. Orion is one of the most visible constellations. Because of its location, it can be seen throughout the world. Orion is named after a hunter from Greek mythology. Its brightest stars are Betelgeuse and Rigel. Ursa Major is visible in the Northern Hemisphere. It means larger bear in Latin. The Big Dipper is part of the Ursa Major constellation. The Big Dipper is often used as a way to find the direction north. Ursa Minor means smaller bear in Latin. It is located near Ursa Major and also has the pattern of a small ladle called the Little Dipper as part of its larger pattern. The Draco constellation can be viewed in the Northern Hemisphere. It means dragon in Latin and was one of the 48 Asian constellations. The Pegasus constellation is named after the flying horse by the same name from Greek mythology. It can be seen in the Northern sky. Here are the zodiac constellations. So as you can see, we have here the Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, 
Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. The zodiac constellations are the constellations that are located within a band that is about 20 degrees wide in the sky. This band is considered special because it is the band where the sun, the moon, and the planets all move. There are 13 zodiac constellations. We have the Capricornus, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius, Sagittarius, and Apiochus. Twelve of these are also used as signs for the Soja calendar and astrology. Let's identify the given pattern. If you draw a line to connect the stars in the picture, what constellation will be formed? Write your answers on the comment section of our FB page. Your answers are correct. Ursa Major, also known as Great Bear. Apparent movement of stars through the night. Are the stars stationary at their position at different times of the year? How would you describe the apparent motion of stars at night? By observing the sun's movement and position in the sky, we can tell what time of the day it is. When it seems to rise in the east, it is morning. When it is above, it is noon. When it seems to move towards the west, it is afternoon. At night, stars are used to tell the time. Just like the sun, stars also seem to move from east to west. Polaris, commonly known as the North Star, is the brightest star in the constellation. Ursa Minor or Little Deeper. It is very close to the North Celestial Pole, making it the current Northern Pole. Because it lies nearly in a direct line with the axis of the Earth's rotation above the North Pole, Polaris stands almost motionless in the sky and all the stars of the northern sky appear to rotate around it. As you can see in the picture, Polaris and the star trail are seen. Star trail is a type of photograph that utilizes long exposure times to capture the apparent motion of stars in the night sky due to the rotation of the Earth. To locate Polaris, Face north and locate the Big Dipper. Two stars, Merak and Zube, in the Big Dipper are called pointer stars because they seem to point to Polaris. Why are some constellations only visible at particular months? Look at the series of photographs. This is how the same constellations appear at different months. What do you notice? We have here for the month of March, June, September, and December. Why are some stars visible in March but not visible in September? The rotation of the Earth on its axis causes the apparent nightly movement of the stars across the sky, while the revolution around the sun is responsible for the fact that we can see different parts of the sky at different parts of the year. 
From the given figure, we can see the four meteorological seasons. We have summer, autumn, winter, and spring. We can also see the given months per season. We have June, September, December, and March. What constellations are prominent during winter? Comment your answers now. Very good. The answers are Orion, Cetus, Aridanus, Gemini, Perseus, Taurus, and Canis Major. What constellations are prominent during fall? Comment your answers now. Okay, very good. How about during summer? Comment your answers now. Okay, very good. Here are the answers for that questions. How about during March? Okay, very good. Here are the answers for that questions. Let us have a quick check of your understanding. Identify the given constellations. Write your answers on the comment section of our FE page. Number one, comment your answers now. Very good. The answer is Pegasus. Number two, comment your answers now. The answer is Scorpio. Number three, comment your answers now. The answer is Ursa Major. Number four, write your answers now. Yes, the answer is Capricorn. And last one, number five. Very good. The answer is Draco. How early people use the constellations? While constellations were associated with religion, they also have practical uses. Before the calendars, people had no way of determining when to sow or harvest except by looking at these patterns in the sky. Asian people developed a way to remember the patterns by giving these patterns names and stories. For example, in the Northern Hemisphere, the constellation Orion indicates the coming of cold season. The constellations made it easier for them to recognize and interpret patterns in the sky. The table below shows the Matigsalug Manobo of Bukidnon used the stars and constellations in relation to their agriculture. So we have here the local name, what they call to that constellations, their months of appearance, what they are going to do, and the equivalent in the Western value. For example, we have here Taurus. They called it Baha. It appears in month of December to February, and they need to do is to clear the forest. Another one is the Orion's Belt. They called it Balatic. It appears in the months of February. 
It means start of planting and setting of traps to protect the crops from the animals. And the other one we have here, Gemini, they called it Gibang. It appears in months of April and May. It means it is the end of planting season, but it signifies rich harvest. There are other uses of constellations. Another use of constellations is navigation. The Polaris is widely used in navigation because it does not change its position at any time of the night or year. Asian people use constellations for many things. For instance, by watching the constellations, our ancestors knew when to hunt because they could tell when animals hibernate and migrate. Constellations are used as a way of mapping surrounding space so that it's easier for us to find certain planets. It starts a lot easier. Here are some interesting facts about constellations. The largest constellation by area is Hydra, which is 3.16% of the sky. It is also known as the water snake. The smallest is Crux, which only takes up 0.17% of the sky. Small patterns within a constellation are called asterisms. These include the big deeper and the little deeper. Twenty-two different constellation names start with the letter C. All of these are starts with letter C. Now, answer this assessment to measure how much you have learned from the discussion that we had today. Choose the letter of the best answer. I will read the question one by one and write your answer on the paper. Write your answer on the comment box of our FB page after I read the five questions. Let's start. Number one, which star is nearest to us? A, Alpha Centauri, B, Betelgeuse, C, Rigel, or D, Sun? Number two, how do stars appear to move in the night sky? A, from east to west, B, from north to south, C, from west to east, or D, from south to north? Number three, which constellation is prominently seen in the sky during summer? A, Orion, B, Pegasus, C, Hercules, or D, Virgo? Number four, stars appear to move in the sky because A, the Earth is rotating on its axis, B, the universe is expanding, C, the night sky is rotating, or D, new galaxies are formed. Number five, if you are located at the North Pole, where will you see the Polaris? A, overhead, B, just above the horizon, C, around 45 degrees from the horizon, or D, Polaris will not be seen in the North Pole. Write your answers now in the comment box of our FB page. Let us check your answers. Number one, the answer is A. Number two, the answer is also letter A. 
Number three is letter D. Four is letter A. And number five is letter A. Do you have any questions? If none, here is the announcement for the upcoming grade seven learners who wish to join our special program in science, technology and engineering or SPSTE class for the school year 2021-2022. Online registration is extended until May 30, 2021. For the grade requirements, must have an average grade of at least 85 in math, English, and science, average grade of 83 in all other subjects, and no grade lower than 80 in any quarter, and with a general average of 85 and above, based on the computed grades from the first to third grading periods. The online registration is open from 8 o'clock in the morning up to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The schedule of interview is to be announced. I would like to introduce to you our grade nine production team for this science class. The teacher broadcaster, yours truly, Janie B. Santiago, our script writer, Mom Maria Victoria S. Leasing, and our technical director, Mom Cecilia D.C. Evangelista. Thank you, grade nine learners, for actively participating in our discussion. Thank you to our dear principal, Dr. Maria Victoria C. Vivo, to our officer in charge, Mom Mirna L. De La Cruz, to Teleradio Marcella staff, to my science family, and our almighty guide. Let me end our session with this quotation. Don't wait for the stars to align. Reach up and rearrange them the way you want. Create your own constellation by Parallel Williams. Thank you, stay safe, and God bless. Makinig, manood, nasa teleradyo. Makinig, manood, nasa teleradyo. Teleradyo, teleradyo, Marcelo. Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon, magkahatid sa kakakibat ay diskusyon. Sama-sama tayo. Kahit magkalayo Sa programang ito Tiyak ang pagkatuto Teleradyo Teleradyo Marcelo Teleradyo Teleradyo Marcelo Teleradyo Teleradyo Marcelo Kay 